Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Vicky. How are you, Kari? Oh. Oh, extra points for you. Huh? You are so punctual. <laughs> good, David, Sandra. That's nice. <laughs> Luis is here, too. Okay, hi, Luis. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Hi, Tell good me, evening. how was your day? Was it good? Was it nice, nice day? Rainy day, right? Bastante lluvioso estuvo ahora. A lot of rain today. Okay, yo dije que iba a ser ya temporal. Aquí donde yo vivo ha estado lloviendo desde como las nueve de la mañana. Aquí está. Uh -huh. Sí, Aquí, igual como a las de las dos hasta las seis. Oh, yes, ajá, all afternoon, ok. Pobrecita la gente que, que vive en zonas bien vulnerables, ojalá que ya no siga lloviendo, ¿verdad? porque todavía la, tierra está, que no. todavía la tierra está un poco aguadita. Ok, sí. Sí. that's it. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Eh, ¿Terminaron los ejercicios? Los que les mandé ayer, los hicieron. Algunos me mandaron las, los ejercicios y ahí los pude revisar. Ok. Por ahí les mandé también. Hi, More. Hello. Welcome to the class. También Hi. vimos. Hello. Vimos Hello. también un video. Por ahí les mandé un video y, un, y un, um, unas fotitos. Ok. Acerca del, del tema de ayer. Ok. Just in case you have some questions, okay, related to the topic yesterday. Today, my friends, we have a, the section four, okay, we, we practically finished section number four, uh, related to, related to, to present continuous, okay. Vamos ya a ingresar un poquito a lo que son los verbos, okay, verbos de acción, comer, saltar, correr, nadar, escribir, leer, etc., Ok, hasta ahorita pues hemos estado jugando solo con el verbo to be. Ok, am, um, is, are, en negativo, en pregunta. Vimos también números, posesivos, right? But now we are going to study eh, other topic. Ya vamos, eh, digamos, poniendo más, eh, más vocabulario, ok, ingresando un poquito más de de estructura, ok, para que ya sepan dominar esas estructuras. Y ya dentro de poco, pues, vayan lanzando ya sus propias eh, ideas en inglés, ¿ok? So, we are going to start with a vocabulary, ¿ok? Uh, as I said before, we are going to have section number four, ¿ok? Yesterday we practiced the, 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 the possessives, right? Now we have a here, ¿ok? Weather and seasons around the world, ¿ok? Weather and seasons around the world. This is clima, okay, el clima y las estaciones, right? Okay, seasons around the world, okay? So here I have the representation, okay? Some pictures, right? Related to the weather. And today we are going to, uh, we are going to practice the vocabulary related to the weather, okay? For example, today, when we say ahora estuvo lluvioso, Okay, um, eh, rainy. Ajá, rainy, very good. Cuando está soleado, right? Other, other words. Sunny. Está, ajá, sunny, ajá, very good. Cuando está, eh, bueno, con mucho viento, porque no sé si decir ventos, <ríe> vientos, o no sé cómo es. Okay. <ríe> Pero con mucho viento, right? Ajá, we say windy. <ríe> so, this is what we're going to go through. De ahí tenemos la, la estructura que vamos a ver hoy, right? We're going to have, and the practice that we have for today, okay? This is all the things that we're going to be, okay, discussing about, um, you know, Uh, the structure that I, I was saying, right? So, my friends, we are going to start with the weather vocabulary, okay? And this is e easy, okay? This is not so difficult. Más alguno, pues ya se lo ha de saber, right? This is the weather vocabulary, okay? And we start with the number one. This is sunny. Viene del, 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 del nombre aquí, sun, okay? Cuidado, no decir sunny, okay? Eh, sunny, right? El, el Sunny, no sé si Sunny. Que es de mi, de mi generación, por ahí Vicky, ¿se acuerda un fresco que vendían antes en las tiendas? 
un Sunny. Ah, sí. Do you remember? <risa> ok. Sí. Como el Delipop. Ah, como el Delipop, exactly. Nosotros Ajá. decíamos mm -hmm. Sunny, pero imagínense que era Sunny. Ajá. So. No, sunny. <risa> es como, <risa> como, <risa> el, como el famoso líquido de, de limpiar que dicen Pinesol, vea. El Pinesol. Mm. Y, y es Pine Sol. Pine Sol. Pine, ah. Ajá, Pine Sol. Ajá, ah. de, de pronunciation, Pine. right? Ajá. Pine sol. Pine sol, bueno. Yes, también muchos dicen quaker, right? Quaker, mm, quaker. Sí. Es quaker. Ah. Ok, so here my friends is sunny, ok? Sunny, ok, sunny. That's it, this is soleado, ok? Then we have the other one, como ahora, eh? Rainy, ok? Rainy, this is a lluvioso, right? Rainy. Okay, sunny, rainy. Then we have cloudy. Cloudy. Okay, nublado, nublado, cloudy. Viene de la palabra cloud. Look, cloud. Nube, right? Cloudy, nublado. That's it. Then, my friends, we have foggy. Este es nublado, pero de, de neblina. Okay? Neblina. That's mm. it. Uh -huh. This is... Eh, this is for eh, es this is for the ajá, ese es nuboso ajá, de, 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 de uh -huh. este es de nube right? de nube ajá, uh -huh. cuando decimos oh my god it's cloudy uh -huh. ya va a llover verdad it's about to rain uh -huh. cloudy this is foggy ya que ya llovió ya no se mira porque la neblina bajó right foggy uh -huh. okay? uh -huh. because ne neblina in English is fog Solo estas tres letras es neblina, fog. ok, fog, fog, so foggy, ok, that's it, foggy. For example, in my case, it, here, the place where I live, que a las cinco estaba ya bien foggy, <laughs> uh -huh. so about five o'clock, it was foggy, ok, foggy, that's it, the neblina. Then, my friends, we have, this is not in El Salvador, but snow. one day if you travel to United States or other place where it snows, right? Snowy, snowy, no. okay? Es de con mucha nieve, okay? That's it, okay, snowy. Then, my friends, we have windy, right? Es el que le decía, right? Windy, con mucho viento, <laughs> okay? Windy, windy, that's it. These are, okay, some, some of the, 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 the weather conditions, right? And we have stormy. Creo que un día de esto, ¿verdad? Hubo mucho rayo y, right? No sé si se acuerdan. Y redampo. Ajá, stormy, okay? That's it, okay? And, and, and raining, thunders and lightnings, etc. So, that is stormy, okay? So, those are, my friends, uh, the weather conditions that I have for you, okay? Because then we have the... The, the, the seasons, as I said, you know, the seasons in English, hay muchas personas dicen stations, but no. Station is a train station or bus station. In this case, are seasons, okay? For yes. example, we have summer, okay, summer. Then we have a winter, okay? Creo que ahorita en El Salvador we are in winter, right? Summer, ajá, uh -huh, winter, el verano, el invierno. ¿Cuál es el otro? Eh, spring, ok. La, la primavera, ok. And fall, right? Oh. Que sería la, eh, otoño. el otoño, right? That's it. Those are the seasons, ok. Seasons. Summer, winter, spring, and fall, ok. That's it. Sure. Those are, yes, tell me. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Usted dijo, we are in winter. Mm -hmm. Puede decir, we are on winter. We are, en el caso de los, de los, de los estaciones del año, ok, se ocupan con, con eh, in, ok. In summer, okay. in winter, in spring, and in fall, right? Ok. Aquí, aquí les regalo otra, ella que me dijo aquí esto del winter, les regalo una que es, eh, es el sinónimo, ok. Digan, eh, orom. 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 Ok, orom. Let me check something. Let me check something right now because... 
deseo que estoy segura que lleva una N por acá. Let me check. Ok, right now. Ok. Yes, va una N por acá. Ok, ajá. Orom, right? Orom, that's it. Que sería eh, en la otra forma de decir eh, otoño. Ok, guys. Ok, fall, right? Fall or the pronunciation is orom in this case. Orom. Okay? Orom. Orom. So, orum. Why, orum. Why, why are we studying this? We are studying this because we are going to describe what is happening in this moment. Okay, so for example, pueden decir, ahorita está lloviendo, okay, o por ejemplo, ahorita está nevando, okay, so this is the structure, my friends, that we are going to study tonight, we are going to study the present, eh, ese se llama present continuous, okay, present continuous, this one, right, talking about eh, the, 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 the weathers and the seasons, right? This is the one that we are going to study, okay? Look, the present continuous. Otros le llaman present eh, eh, progressive. El progresivo es igual, okay? It's the same, okay? Present continuous or present progressive. Jose o Chepe is the same, okay? So, eh, for this topic, my friends, we need verbs. Esto necesito verbos, okay? Verbs, okay? We need verbs here. So, why are we studying this, okay? We are going to study this because we need to describe, okay? We are going to describe, um, we are going to describe in this case, actions happening in the moment. Okay, and I am going to write here, okay, um, the structure. Y quiero que esta estructura la guarden y la pongan en grande en su cuaderno, porque es la que vamos a usar, okay? Um, allá por noveno, no sé, el bachillerato, a veces le dicen a uno los maestros, agregue el ING al verbo, okay? Mm -hmm. el, ajá, the people say ING, el ING o el gerundio. Pero por eso nos confunden, porque no solamente es ponerle ING, guys, ¿ok? Necesitamos eh, tres ingredientes o dos ingredientes importantes en esa estructura, ¿ok? So, the number one is the, um, the subject. Yo aquí le voy a llamar subject, ¿ok? Que es subject teacher, es el pronombre, es el nombre de la persona, ¿ok? For example, Luis, she, they... We, my mother and father, etc. Okay, el sujeto de la oración. That's it. So, then, my friends, we need the verb to be. Okay, aquel verbo to be que yo les decía que tiene tres formas. Am, is, are. So, here, my friends, we have these three. Am, is, are. Okay, those uh, verbs are fundamental in this structure. Okay. After this, guys, we have a, the verb. Ahora sí, mira, verb, pero usted me le va a agregar al verbo ing. Ok, that's it. Si se fija, no es solo ponerle el ing al verbo. No, no, no. We need the subject, we need the verb be, and we need the verb, ok, but in the ing form and then guys you have to write the complement okay that's it what is the complement teacher el complemento el predicado what we say in spanish for example today right now eh, shoes boots like you have here in the examples right so practically this is the structure okay this is the structure that we have to use in this um, in this um, topic, subject am um, is are the verb in ing and the complement. So esto es lo que nosotros decimos. Yo estoy jugando. Ella está corriendo. Okay. 
Rudis está escuchando la clase. Ok, eso, ese escuchando, corriendo, bailando, etc., is the topic that we are going to study tonight. Ok, subject, verb be, am, um, is, are, plus the verb in ing, plus the complement. Ok, this is when you are describing what is happening in this moment. Ok, this is what is happening in this moment, lo, lo que está pasando ahorita. Si usted está en clase y atrás está su esposa, su esposo, su, sus hijos, ve, mi hijo está hablando, ok, mi esposo está viendo televisión, so that is present continuous, right? So, por eso les decía que necesitamos, miren, eh, verbos, saber verbos, aprender verbos en inglés. So, we're going to go over the examples, right? For example, here, aquí vamos a usar el verbo where. Quítele el ing, look, quítele el ing y solo nos queda where. El verbo vestir, ok? That's it. For example, eh, en inglés no me vayan a decir... Yo uso zapatos o yo uso blusa. No, no me va a decir use. No. You have to use the verb wear, de vestir. Ella está vistiendo, ella está, él está vistiendo. Ok, wear. Todo lo que tenga que ver con ropa es wear. Ok. So, example. I am wearing shoes. ¿Eh? I I'm wearing shoes. Shoes is the complement. The verb in ing is wearing. The verb to be, am. And the subject in this case is I. Okay? Second example. You are or you're wearing shoes. She's wearing shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. And para el clima siempre digan it's, ¿ok? So you say it's snowing, está nevando. So, ¿cómo diríamos ahora está lloviendo? Ahora yo digo sujeto, ah, teacher, es clima. So, you have to start with it, ¿ok? It is Rain, in this case, rain. Raining. Ajá, muy bien. In Raining. this case, rain es el verbo, pero yo le agrego ing. Rain. So, it is raining, right? That's Raining. it. It is raining today, right now, ahorita, right now. Okay, teacher, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't listen to you because in my house it's raining. Okay. So you are saying that what is happening in the moment, this activity, okay? So, y así seguimos con otras, right? Um, then um, I'm going to present, okay, uh, the other, the other, uh, tengo verbos para acá ustedes, right? So, uh, the verbs, okay, that we're going to practice, okay? So, in here, look, yo digo, el está atrapando una pelota, right? So, look at the verb. Yo les doy los verbos normales okay. y usted me hace la estructura. Y digo, catch a ball. Catch a ball. So, remember the structure. Sujeto, verbo to be, verbo con ing y el complemento. So, como dijera yo ahorita, ok, él está atrapando una pelota. He is catching a ball. Ajá. He is catch. El mismo verbo, right? El mismo, pero le agrego ing. Catching, catching a, catching a ball. ball. A ball. Ok. So, en este caso usted está diciendo, él está atrapando, ok, una pelota. That's it. Ok, so usted está describiendo qué es lo que está pasando en el momento. You are describing what is happening in this very moment. Ok, so ahora pongámosle Pedro, right? Peter is catching a ball, right? 
ok. Pero ahora yo les quiero decir, ah, no hombre, yo miro a Peter sentado en su casa, so, en su, su sillita, entonces yo digo, Pedro no está atrapando pelotas, so, yo lo niego, miren, he, ¿y cuál es el negativo de is? Isn't. Uh -huh. That's it. So he isn't catching, catching a, ball. a ball. Ok, look. Ya lo tengo. In positive and in negative. Ok. He is catching a ball. He isn't catching a ball. Él está atrapando una pelota. Él no está atrapando una pelota. Ok. So for, uh, for doing the negative form, guys, The only thing you have to know is the negative form of the verb be. What is the negative for am? I'm not. What is the negative for is? Is not isn't. or isn't. isn't. That's it. Recuerden que usted lo puede hacer forma larga, forma corta. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, negative for are, are not or aren't. 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 That's it. Okay, this is what you can do. So, let's continue with the other one. This is atrapar. Bueno, well, Spanish, in Salvadorian Spanish, we say cacha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> pues ahí viene la palabra de catch. Miren, ajá, uh -huh. but originally is atrapar, right? So, we continue with the other, uh, with the other picture, okay? And we have this. What is this verb? Look, ¿qué verbo representa? Good. Cook. Ajá, very good. Cook. Cook. Ahora díganme, ella está cocinando. He is a cooking. She's cooking a soup, I think. Cooking. Ok, ajá, eh, she's cooking soup. Ajá, ajá, ok, that's it. Eh, she is... Cooking. Ok, lunch, por ejemplo. Sí, no se quiere complicar tanto. Mm -hmm. Ok, ajá. She is cooking lunch. Cuidado acá, eh, no sé si fue eh, mi oído que está un poco mal. <risa> o, o, o alguien dijo, she is a cooking. Cuidado con esas palabritas a, da, que no van ahí. Ok, so dice, she is cooking. Ok. Ya, el complemento, pues ya es, depende de su creatividad. Lunch, o alguien dijo, she's cooking soup, o she's cooking lunch for her father. Ok, ya usted le agrega lo que quiera, right? But the original eh, structure is subject, verb to be, and the verb in the ing form. Ok, very good. Ok, let's continue with the other one. Ok, what is the representation for this one? What is the verb? Dance. Dance. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, very good. So, is dance. That's it. So, we have dance. So, how would you say here? I'm going to ask for volunteers. Rudis. Rudis, <laughs> volunteer. Ajá, uh -huh. Rudy, thank you. Volunteer. <laughs> okay, Rudy. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the sentence, Rudy. She is dancing. She is dancing. Ticamente. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. yes. <laughs> en el aire, diga. <laughs> She's <in> song. <laughs> Okay, she's dancing. <laughs> she's dancing ballet. Excellent. Ahora, Rudy's negative, please. She is an mm -hmm. ballet. Uy. She is no. She is not dancing ballet. Excellent. Very good. Well, in this case, Rudy, you say she is dancing ballet. Negative. She isn't or she is not dancing perreo. <laughs> okay, that's it. Porque acuérdese que el negativo tiene que ser algo que sea que no esté reflejado en la foto, right? Uh -huh. That's it. Very good, Rudy. Very good. Okay. No tenga miedo okay. de decir isn't or is not. No problem. Okay? Very good. Then we continue. Uh, let's see here with the other one. Uh, that's it. This is the verb. Uh -huh. What is this verb? I don't know. No, you don't know? Swim. 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 No, no. Este ya va dentro del agua. Va, apréndaselo. Diga, dive. 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 Ah, ok, ese es el verbo. Eh, ¿Cuál es el verbo? Bucear. 
Bucear. Yes. Ajá, Bucear. Ok, miren lo que va a pasar acá. Eh, Carlos is, look, originalmente dive, look, look, pero miren lo que hago yo. Ponga la atención a esto. How do you say? ¿Qué pasó? Diving. Perdió la E. Excelente. Esa es la regla. Esa es la, esa es la regla de la... Yanari creo que tiene problemas con el, con el Inter. Se escucha puro robot. No la puede escuchar cuando habla. Quizás si puede resetear su internet sería super nice. Ok. So, ¿qué hice? El verbo original termina en E. Esta es una regla que, que solo piénsela y trátela de mantenerla en la cabecita y que no se le olvide. Cuando el verbo termina en E y le va a agregar ING, quítele la E. ¿Sí? Quítesela. Y le pone ING. Al que no se lo va a quitar es a este verbo. Mire. Así. Ver. Así, ese dice que la regla no se le quita, sino que mire. ¿Ve? ¿Qué hice? Solo le agregué el ING. Exacto. ¿Ok? Pero a los demás verbos, sí. Otro verbo que va con E, por ejemplo, otro verbo que va con E, let me see, va dance, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Dance, right? Drive. Dicen, dancing, ¿ve? Le quité la e. Drive, very good, ¿ve? Conducir, manejar. Look, driving, ¿ok? This is one rule. Esa es una regla cuando terminan en letra E, ¿ok? That's it. So, para, we continue. Para el caso de die. Die. Eh, morir. Ok, Peter, very good. Mire, die. Uh -huh. Die. Este, este sale de toda la, 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 la estructura esta. Quizás se lo voy a poner acá porque estos son, eh, son este, especiales, llamémosles, right? Mire, die, se escribe así, right? Die. De, de ING form o de gerund, ok. Dying. Así lo va a escribir. Muriendo, ok. Por ejemplo, eh, bueno, la realidad que estamos viviendo ahorita, muchas personas están muriendo. In English, a lot of people, a lot of people are, are dying. dying today. ¿Ok? Pero lo va a escribir así. ¿Ok? Die, dying. See, seeing. With ing. Y no me le quita la E. En este caso, miren, son bien diferentes. But dance, try. drive, etc. Excuse me. Try. Try. T -R Ajá, intentar. Ok. Uh -huh. Este verbo eh, no termina en E. Este termina en Y. Look. Dice la regla que si termina en Y, usted va a hacer eso. ¿Qué va a hacer? Agregarle ING. Ok. Play, try, ok, dry, secar, ok, terminan con Y, se mantiene la regla del ING, ok. That's it. So, okay. this, is, this is when you type, porque sé que en la plataforma van a escribir, ok. Cuando lo hablan, pues, ah, no se sabe si le quita o no, le agrega, ok. But when you, when you type right. in the platform, it's a little bit confusing, yes, ok. That's it. So keep in mind that. Termina el verbo en E. Eh, ah, ok. Delete the letter E and you add ING. Exception, C and die. Ok? That's it. Questions? Questions, questions? Y la I también sería que se le quitaría la E. Eh, excuse me, which one did you say? La I. De mentir. Uh -huh. borrar este porque este no ay, borrarlo okay. 
Ok, then I have lie. Esa viene siendo parecida a morir, ok. Mentir, excuse me. Lie, ok. So, here is lying, like this. Mm -hmm. That's it, ok. Then we have these verbs, right? That's the... Y ya vamos a ver otros a los que le duplico una letra por ahí. Ok? That's it. Ahorita tengamos en mente esta regla. Si terminen E, quítele la E, ING, excepto estas. Right? That's it. Ahora bien, esos verbos, pues, y eh, quizás lo, van en otra categoría de verbos más difíciles, digamos. Ok? Que por, por, por el uso. Ok? That's it. So, we continue. Okay, so this is dive. So, he is diving in the ocean in this case. Okay, that's it. What about Luis? What is this verb? Do you know? Conoce este verbo? No? No, Luis? No, teacher. Okay, but se lo doy y usted me hace la oración. Do gymnastics. Do hacer. Do gymnastics. Ahora dígame, ella está haciendo gimnasia. She is uh, doing gymnastics. Excellent. Very good. She is doing gymnastics. Negative. She isn't doing her homework, for example. Uh -huh. That's it. Very good. Excellent. Continue. Okay, with another one. Ever. Ever. Hello, Ever. Ever. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, Ever. What is this verb? Yes, I, I listen to you. Uh -huh. I am listening to you. Uh -huh. Do karate. Do karate. Yeah, no problem. No problem. She is doing karate. Excellent. Uh -huh. She is doing karate. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Okay. Ramiro. Hello, come Ramiro. Okay. Hola. Hi, hi, Ramiro. Okay. Can you please do this one? Draw. Repeat. Draw. She, she, draw. She is uh -huh. drawing. Uh -huh. She is drawing. Very good. She is drawing a picture there. Ah, a picture. Excellent. Aha, uh -huh. very good. She is drawing. It says dibujar. Okay. She is drawing a picture. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Continue, please, Vicky. This is for you. Okay. Ah, very easy, Vicky. <laughs> uh -huh. She is driving the car. Dri driving. Drive. Mm -hmm. She is drive the car. Uy, uy, uy. Can you repeat? Oh, no. Repeat. She is drive. She's right. Driving. Ah, very good. Agreguele el ING, porque si no dice, mm -hmm. ella está a manejar. Ok. So, mm -hmm. she is driving a car. Excellent. She's uh -huh. driving a very car. Very good. Excellent. Ok. This one. Ok. This one. Ahí viene este para explicar un poquito. Hop. Diga hop. 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 Exacto. Hop. Este es el verbo. Este es el verbo. Eh, Saltar, ok? Saltar en un pie, saltar en un pie. So, my friends. Y el jump, ¿Sí? teacher. Uh -huh. Jump yes. es saltar también, solo que usualmente es con ambos pies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Este es, este es eh, hop cuando es un pie, ok? Vamos. Look at this. Y la diferencia de pronunciar el hop de esperanza? Ninguna. It's the um, same. It's the, the same. same. Ahora, ¿cómo voy a adivinar qué es Hopi y el otro? Y... Uh -huh. <laughs> Por el contexto. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, hey, Ramiro, I am hoping, I am hoping in my patio. No va a decir, ay, está esperanzando. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> ok. Look at okay. this. Miren lo que voy a hacer. ¿Qué hice? Double P. Double P. 
Dice la regla por ahí que cuando lleva esta, esta como, digamos, estructura, mire, consonante, right? Ok, consonante, vocal, consonante, look, el CBC, right? Consonant, vowel, consonant. Si usted se fija, hop, ¿ve? Consonante, H. Vocal, O. Consonante, P. Si lleva esa terminación el verbo, usted automáticamente me le tiene que duplicar la última letra. ¿Ok? You got the other letter. So, then you have here, ¿ok? Hoping. ¿Ok? That's it. Otra. Cut. Mire. ¿Ve? Lo voy a poner así en este. Para que vean que abajo de cada estructura iba la U y la T. Cut. Cortar. Cut. Entonces, ¿cómo sería cortando? Cutting. Cutting. C U T T I N G. ¿Ok? Cutting. Hop. Hopping. Cut. Cutting. Put. Look. Put. ¿Ve? Pudding. Pudding. That's it. Ok. Um, let me see. Esta regla es para duplicar la última letra del verbo principal. En, si se fijan en hop, letter P. Cut, letter T. But, uh, put, in this case, letter T. Ok, that's it. ¿Habrá otra que ustedes sepan que se duplica? ¿Qué han visto Stop. quizás? Uh -huh. Stop. Ah, very good. Ok, stop. ¿Ve? Viene acá. Aquí la vamos a poner. Y aquí va la vocal. Ok, y aquí va la P. Ok, so you say here. Stopping. Right? Dice, pero acuérdense que son las últimas letras. ¿Ve? Consonante, la T. Vocal, consonante. Ok? That's it. Hay ciertas, eh, ciertas cosas que están como... Acuérdense que en un idioma siempre hay excepciones. Y una de esas vendría siendo, digamos, esta. Eh, swim. Miren acá, más o menos. Eh, swimming. Eh, the king, right? Porque hay una pol hay una polémica aquí, eh, beginning, ok, hay una polémica aquí que dice varias personas que la W no es considerada una vocal, en, en una consonante en inglés, sino que una U, una vocal, así que eso le llaman como unos, eh, como excepción. Pero en caso, en mi caso, cuando, en mi caso porque yo estudié para ser maestra, para explicar esto, pero en el caso suyo, pues, eh, para no entrar tanto detalle ahí, que es el vocal, consonante, y que el sonido, y etcétera, pues, yo lo que hacía es como, bueno, está bien, aprendérmelo así, ¿no? Ok, swimming, ok, beginning, ok, para no entrar, pues, tanta polémica. Pero para que sepan, en general, cuando los verbos terminen en la, termi valga la redonda, terminen en esto, ¿eh? C, B, C, ok, consonant, vowel, consonant. Usted duplica, ¿ve? Double, ok, the other, the other letter, ok, that's it. Entonces aquí sería, she's hoping, ok, that's it. That's it. She's hoping. Ella está saltando. Y se sobreentiende que es con un solo pie. Ok? That's it. So, we continue with the other one. Ok, this is the verb. Ice skate. Mire, termina en E. Entonces yo digo ice skate. So, what is it? Eh, Morena, please, can you please tell me the sentence? Eh, she is ice skating. Excelente. Uh -huh. She is ice skating. Very good. Ok. Mira ahora, ve. Tengo jump. 
¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo los dos pies ahí. So, David, what is the sentence for this one, David? He is hooping. Jumping. Jumping. Uh -huh. Jump. Uh -huh. Jump. Jumping. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. This one, eh, Sandra. Okay. Hi, Sandrita. Play basketball. Sandra. She, she is playing basketball. Very good. Okay. She is playing basketball. Ahora yo les hago esta pregunta para ser más completo. Y digo, what is she doing? ¿Eh? What is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Y Sandrita me dice, she is playing basketball. What is she doing? Ok. Si fuera hombre, what is he doing? Ok. What is he doing? Y si fuera usted cara a cara con alguien y diga, ¿qué está haciendo? Ah, what are you doing? Eh? What are you doing? Right? That's it. Me hicieron una visita inesperada ahora, así como que, ah, what are you doing here? ¿Eh? What are you doing here? We are in quarantine. <laughs> ok. What are you doing? Y me dicen, I am visiting you. Ah, ok. Va, se me baña, le dije yo, por allá afuera, right? What is she doing? What is he doing? What are you doing? Ok, for example, Morena, what are you doing right now? I am learning English. Excellent, <laughs> eh? I am learning English. Very good, ok. Karina, what are you doing right now? Estoy durmiendo. <laughs> Ay, es que soy malita de la gripe. Pero... Ah, so en inglés, I am mocoseando. Sí, bueno, estoy bien calladita. Yeah, yeah, you are very quiet. No, but you can say, I am listening. Right? Estoy escuchando. Okay. I am okay. listening. I am listening. Mm -hmm. To you, right? I am sí, listening. Sir, ¿Le to puedo you. hacer una consulta? Yes, of course. Eh, entiendo y he visto yo unas oraciones donde a pesar de la construcción uh -huh. se ocupa también el verbo be y, y le ponen being. Yes, es, being. Es, es, esa, ese como, como, sí, como sería sí. como, la tra, como traducir ¿Sí? o como lo tendríamos uh -huh. que entender. Siendo o estando. Así Siendo o estando. Por ejemplo, usted quiere decir, ah, es que lo, lo siento, es que estoy siendo sarcástico. Por ejemplo, ¿ve? I am being sarcastic. Right? That's it. Aquí, así se ocupa. ¿Ok? Cuando quiere decir estoy siendo, estoy, están, right. Aquí estoy siendo, siendo. Right? Uh -huh. En este caso aquí, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being sarcastic. Ok, en ese ejemplo. Ok. She's been, she is been, he is been, you are been. Ok. Pero existe, sí existe. El V con ING. Ok. Pero en este caso, si se fija, se pone en el verbo principal, pero siempre va con am, is o are. Ok, that's it. So, las preguntas. Yo, yo tenía la duda porque sonaría como repetitivo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, exacto. Suena... Es ser, es, ser estar y el otro. Ajá, menciona... exactly. Pero se puede, mm. Peter. Ajá, se puede en inglés, es común. Uh -huh. okay. That's it. Ajá, that's it. So, what is she doing? What is he doing and what are you doing? Okay, that's it. Those are the, 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 the questions. That's it that we have here. So here I have another one. Okay, uh, then we have what is she doing? Okay, what is she doing, Peter? What is she doing? He's playing football. Aha, uh -huh, she's playing football. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What is she doing? Uh, 
What is she doing, Janari? She playing tennis. Excellent, very good. She's playing tennis. What is she doing, Luis? She play. Uh, she's playing the guitar. The guitar, excellent. She's playing the guitar. Very good. Okay, Vicky, what is she doing? She reading a book. Read, read reading. Reading. Uh -huh. Reading. She is reading a book. a book. Excellent. Okay. What is she doing? She is riding a bike. Es el verbo montar. She is riding a bike. Nunca van a decir play, de jugar bicicleta. She is riding no. a bike. Montando bicicleta, right? She is riding a bike. That's it. Y lo mismo que caballo, right? She is riding a horse. She is riding a horse. What is he doing? He is rollerblading. Está patinando, pero son de esos que tienen línea los patines, right? Royal boy. Okay. He is rollerblading. Okay. Then what is she doing? She is running. Y haciendo el, el, eh, lo que les dije anteriormente, miren, consonante, vocal, consonante, le duplico la N. Running with double N, ¿ok? She is running in the park. What is she doing? She is singing. She is singing, right? That's it. Uh, what is she doing? ¿Ok? She is skiing. Y aquí no le tenga miedo, así lo va a poner, miren. Ski in ing, mira, ok. Let's see, she is skiing, right? Está eh, esquiando, right? That's it. Um, what is she doing? That is the question that we have here. And the last one, what is she doing? What is she doing, Sandrita? She is swing. Can you repeat, please? She is swing. Okay. Acuérdese que estamos swimming. Eso. Ajá. No se le olvide. She, okay? is, swimming. She is swimming. Ella está nadando. Porque si swimming. no, Sandrita, si no usted me está diciendo, ella está ella nadando. Nada. Ajá. It sounds like a little, a little weird. ¿Qué está haciendo? Ella está a nadar. No, right? Uh -huh. That's it. So, here, my friends, this is what we have. Okay, ya vimos positive. Y aquí, miren, solo le ponen negative, right? ¿Ve? I'm not, aren't. Are not, aren't. She's not, isn't. We are not, we aren't. They are not, they aren't. Or it's not, isn't. Okay? So, these are the ones that we have here. Okay. Eh, for the present eh, continuous. Esto se le llama present continuous, right? So, we have now one, two, three, four. Okay, four pictures. Look at the pictures here. Ahora yo quiero que este, describamos las fotos, right? Let's describe the pictures. Let's describe the pictures here. Por ejemplo, yo digo... Está lloviendo. How do you say está lloviendo? In the picture one, está lloviendo. En la foto uno, está lloviendo. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. The number one, ajá, uh -huh, is raining. Very good. Diga, el hombre está leyendo, diga. He's, the man. He's reading. Ajá, uh -huh. the man, ajá. Uh -huh. the, the man. The man is reading. 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 Very good. Reading. Okay. El hombre está vistiendo un sombrero. Hat. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? El hombre The está man vistiendo. is wearing a hat. Ajá, very good, Morena. The man is wearing Wearing a hat. Ah, very good. Ahora digan, la mujer está vistiendo 
este, botas, boots. The woman, she's the woman wearing, is wearing, is wearing, are wearing boots. the boots. Ajá, she is wearing boots. She's oh, wearing boots. boots. Is wearing, She's wearing boots. boots. Excellent. Very good. Okay. This is with the picture number one. Okay. Let's see the picture number two. El perro está saltando. The dog is jumping. Jumping. Ah, very good. The dog is jumping. Very good. Okay. Eh, los niños están. Y miren que le dije roller blade. Van a usar el verbo roller blade. The children. The children. Children. Are rolling blade. Are rolling. Are roller roller blade. Roller. En el parque, diga. En el parque, diga. En el parque. Park. Excellent. Park. The children are rollerblading in the park. Excellent. Okay. Um, and the dog is jumping. Very good. Ahora dígame, la niña está vistiendo un casco. Casco en inglés. Helmet. Helmet. The girl is wearing a helmet. Excellent, Ramiro. The girl is wearing a helmet. Very good. Ahora dígame, for example, here, el muchacho está vistiendo shorts. Mm -hmm. the, the boy, boy is wearing, wearing shorts. Short. Excellent. Yeah. Very He's good. Wearing... The boy is wearing shorts. Excellent. Very, very good. Number three. Look at this picture. Okay. Ya sabemos allá en la primera semana aprendimos a decir este, este, este. Y uh, le voy a decir, cuando usted lleva algo, cuando usted lleva algo en su mano, como una sombrilla, un paletín, usted usa este verbo, mire, carry, diga carry, carry, carry. so carry. el ING sería este, right, carrying, ok, carrying, carrying, ok, creo que no se mira Okay, caring. I'm gonna change the color because okay, carry. Okay, and the other is caring. Okay, so describe the picture three, please. He's walking work. Aha, uh -huh. the man, diga. The man is caring. Is walking. Is walking. Is carrying. Caring. Break case. A briefcase. Excellent. A briefcase. Very good. Uh -huh. The man is carrying a briefcase. A briefcase. Ramiro, por ahí me dijo, Ramiro, the man is walking. Uh -huh. Very good. Ahora descríbame el clima. ¿Cómo se dice así? Con mucho viento. Uh -huh. Vientos. Wendy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces diga, it's windy. It's, it's windy. It's windy. Ah. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Windy. The man yes. is walking. The man is carrying a briefcase. Uh -huh. That's it. The man And, is uh -huh. wearing a suit. Oh, very good, Morena. The man is wearing a suit. Un traje. Uh -huh. A suit. Excellent. Very, very good. Number four. Number four. Describe the picture, please. Descríbame eh, primero cómo está el clima ahorita. Uh -huh. Describe. It's, it's snowy. Okay, snowing. very good. It's snowy. Uh, uh -huh. It's snowy. Okay, continue. Give me the description and, for the and woman. the woman is walking. Excellent. The woman is walking. Very good. Continue, please. Gorro también se dice hat, sweater, pants, and tennis shoes. Ajá. Go ahead. Describan la vestimenta de las personas. And she wearing a cat. Can, sweater, you, re can you repeat, please? Can you repeat? 
and it's rain. Sorry. And it's, it's snowing. It's and snowing. the woman is walking. Uh -huh. And okay. she wearing a cap. Okay, ahí está, ahí, ahí está el error. En todas me dijo, eh, she is walking, that's okay. Pero en la otra me dice, she wearing. Ya se comió. She is wearing. Excellent. ¿Qué pasa si usted no me le pone el is, o el are, o el am? Suena como indio. Oh, ella vistiendo blusa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so be careful. Uh, be careful. Uh -huh. She is wearing a sweater. Uh -huh. Very good, very good. Rudis, dígame, ella está vistiendo eh, tenis. She is wearing tennis shoes. Tennis shoes, excellent. Very good. Okay, excellent. So you see, this is the, the description that we could that we could do. Okay, for the pictures that we have here. Remember, carry. Todo lo que usted lleva en manita, okay, is carry. Okay, si lleva un periódico, for example, a briefcase, an umbrella. Okay, for example, in this case, the man is carrying an umbrella. Okay, that's it. So, in this case, that's it. Okay, I have these questions, right? That is uh, for you. Este es fácil. Solo me van a decir yes or no. Porque mañana, bueno, mañana no, right? On Monday, okay? This is como el verbo to be. Okay, verb to be. So I say, is Claire wearing a green suit? ¿Se acuerda de la foto uno? Green suit? Yes, yes. yes or no? Yes. Y miren yes, lo que so va a ser. Yes, she is. She is. ¿Eh? That's it. Solo eso, ¿eh? Is she wearing a raincoat? Un abrigo? Is she wearing a raincoat? Do you remember? Yes, he is. I don't remember. A raincoat? A raincoat? No. 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 Llevaba, no. Porque llevaba. Ajá. no. You say, no. 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 I think yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. Dijimos boots, remember? Ah, yeah. No, ah, she is no, no, she isn't. She isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Artoshi en Noriko wearing swimsuits. Estos son los niños del parque. Artoshi en Noriko wearing swimsuits. No. No. They are swimsuits. Are, uh, swimsuits are no, trajes de baño, no, right? No, they are. Okay. Are they wearing jackets? Do you remember? Yes or no? I they, no, 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 they aren't. Ajá, no, ajá. no, they aren't. They aren't, very good, no, they aren't. Are they wearing sunglasses? Yes, yes, they, are. they, yes are. they are. Excellent, yes, they are, very good, okay. Is Phil, el señor del, de que va caminando, is Phil wearing brown, brown pants? ¿De qué color era el suit? Mm -hmm. Gray. 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 Uh -huh. Gray. So, no. No. Okay. Blue. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. No, he isn't. Uh -huh. That's it. No. He isn't. Very good. Is he wearing a blue shirt? No, right? No. No, uh -huh. he isn't. No, he isn't. So, mire. Right? Is he wearing a tie? Una corbata? Yes, yes, he is. Is. No, yes, no. he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Let's see. Yeah, my yeah. Is Katy wearing boots? La muchacha de último. No, no, no. no. She, is. she isn't. Ah, she's wearing tennis. Remember, is she wearing a raincoat? No, she. No. No, she isn't, right? She uh -huh. isn't. Is she wearing a hat and gloves? Hat and yes. gloves, guantes. Yes. Yes, she is. Yes? Mm -hmm. Bah, 
Vamos a ver, ok, let's see, yes she is, and there we go, ok, creo que la de los, la de los guantes no, fíjense, ok, that's it, oh yes, right, mm -hmm. very good, that's it, very good, uh -huh. y el hombre de man, diga, el hombre no está vistiendo, ajá, uh -huh. so, the man is not, is not wearing, wearing a tie, Ah, very good. So here is incorrect. <laughs> okay, so here we say, no, he isn't. Okay, that's it. Okay. And then blue we shirt también. A blue shirt. Y sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Nice memory. Okay, and then we have here... Yes, he is. Okay, that's it. Okay, so my friends, this is present continuous. Okay, así es como hacemos el presente continuo, right? Con la estructura que les di. Sujeto, verbo to be, verbo siguiente con ing. Si el verbo termina en e, quítele la e. Si el verbo termina con consonante, vocal consonante, se le duplica la última letra, ¿ok? That's it. Okay. Con esto, chicos, ya tienen que haber terminado la sección número 4, eh, ¿ok? With this one. Con esto ya pueden hacer empezar el fin de semana para ya estar al día. Eh, ahora nos volvió a caer otro ahí, otro mensajito. Realmente yo desconozco quiénes de ustedes ya terminaron o no hicieron la plataforma aún, eh, solamente nos dijeron de que igual les dijéramos que tuvieran que hacer los ejercicios porque hay muchos alumnos que no la están haciendo. Y recuerde una vez más que la plataforma es su nota, es el aval que Insaforp, todo eso se le manda allá a Insaforp y ellos ven. Y así pues deciden dar las siguientes becas para el otro módulo. Si en caso que Luis no la hizo, pues entonces él ya no puede seguir participando. Entonces la idea, ¿verdad? No es quedarnos con el básico uno, sino que al menos terminar un básico, ¿verdad? Unos seis meses para pues empezar ya a hablar un poquito más el idioma, ¿ok? Así que los invito una vez más a que sigan terminando eh, o haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma para ya el domingo, lunes, a más tardar, unidad de sección 1, 2, 3 y 4, porque en la el lunes comenzamos con la sección número 5, que sería ya para ir culminando el módulo, ¿ok? That's it, my friends. Ahí les queda mi número, ya saben, cualquier cosa que okay. escriben. Ok, I am going to see you on Monday. Ok, have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy your night, guys. Ok, take care.